If you can't fly then run, if you can't run then walk, if you can't walk then crawl, but whatever you do you have to keep moving forward. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Nothing in the world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance and conscientious stupidity. Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace. A soul generated by love. A man who won't die for something is not fit to live. True peace is not merely the absence of tension, it is the presence of justice. Forgiveness is not an occasional act, it is a constant attitude. We must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. Those who are not looking for happiness are the most likely to find it. Because those who are searching forget that the surest way to be happy is to seek happiness for others. I have decided to stick to love, hate is too great a burden to bear. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Faith is taking the first step even when you can't see the whole staircase. But I know, somehow, that only when it is dark enough can you see the stars. There comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular. But he must take it because conscience tells him it is right. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Intelligence plus character that is the goal of true education. A genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus, but a molder of consensus. We are not makers of history. We are made by history. Science investigates, religion interprets. Science gives man knowledge, which is power. Religion gives man wisdom, which is control. Science deals mainly with facts. Religion deals mainly with values. The two are not rivals. There is nothing more tragic than to find an individual bogged down in the length of life, devoid of breadth. Property is intended to serve life, and no matter how much we surround it with rights and respect, it has no personal being. It is part of the earth man walks on. It is not man. We must use time creatively in the knowledge that the time is always right to do right. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Rarely do we find men who willingly engage in hard, solid thinking. There is an almost universal quest for easy answers and half-baked solutions. Nothing pains some people more than having to think. A lie cannot live. There can be no deep disappointment where there is not deep love. We must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive. He who is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of the power to love. There is some good in the worst of us and some evil in the best of us. When we discover this, we are less prone to hate our enemies. Man must evolve for all human conflict a method which rejects revenge, aggression and retaliation. 
the foundation of such a method is love. It is not enough to say we must not wage war. It is necessary to love peace and sacrifice for it. Martin Luther King Jr. was one of the pivotal leaders of the American social equality movement. King was a Baptist minister, one of the few leadership roles available to black men at the time. He became a civil rights opponent early in his career. He led the Montgomery bus boycott 1955 to 1956 and helped found the Southern Christian Leadership Conference 1957 serving as its first president. His efforts led to the 1963 March on Washington where King delivered his I Have a Dream speech. Here he raised public awareness of the civil rights movement and established himself as one of the greatest orators in U.S. history. In 1964, King became the youngest person to get the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to end separation and racial discrimination through civil insubordination and other nonviolent means. King was killed on April 4, 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee. He was after death granted the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Jimmy Carter in 1977. Martin Luther King Jr. Day was a public occasion as a national holiday in the United States in 1986. In 2004, King was awarded a Congressional Gold Medal. Thanks for watching.